to thank Bergies for hosting this. I want to thank Dave Searle from Green World Studios for providing all this, this uh, equipment behind us and running the show. By the way, all you bands, any musical questions, you ask David, and you should all know that by now. Um, I want to thank a few uh, uh, departments in Gilbert that helped a lot with this, the Business Development Department, Scott Powell, Dan Henderson, uh, Parks and Rec, and uh, Leanne McEachran over at uh, Gilbert Education Foundation, who's going to be the beneficiary of this. Also, I want to talk about our judges. Michael Zimmer, Zimmerlich from uh, 8020 Records right there. Gabe Kubanda. All right, every, every, the show is now starting. So when I introduce people and there's a pause, clap wildly. So one more time, because Michael's the guy who kind of spearheads the judges, and he works closely with our organization. So one of our, our judges, Michael Zimmerlich, 8020 Records. There you go. One of our other judges from Epic Proportions Tour, Gabe Kubanda. And, and when she gets here uh, out of traffic, Nicole Parasita from Echo Cloud Productions. The rules of this event are going to be very simple. Uh, they're going to do two songs with a maximum of 15 minutes on and off so that we don't run too long today. They're going to be judged on their professionalism, their originality, performance and band presentation, musicality, star power, and audience response. So that's you guys. So cheer wildly for everybody who performs here today. Um, right before I, I, the last thing I'm going to do is introduce the mayor and the town manager because once I introduce the mayor, I will never see the mic again. So. The, the last thing I want to talk about is Rock and Roll High School is, is our organization that is co-sponsoring this with Mayor Luce and Patrick Banger, the town manager. Um, what you're going to watch today is what Rock and Roll High School does all year long. Our, our mandate is to put your kids and all you guys into bands and put them on stage regularly. We have on the back of this, you can take a look at just the next six weeks or so full of shows for uh, Rock and Roll High School. So. Any of you guys, you know, anybody who's interested in doing what you're going to see here all the time, all year long, we've got some information at that table. We've got a sign-up sheet where you can put your email and we'll send you more information on that. So, with that, I think I'm going to announce the bands that are competing and then I'll introduce the mayor. Uh, the competing bands, and this is the order they're going to go in. Not yet. And by the way, because I just saw her down here, I want to acknowledge Katie from Desert Ridge, who's going to be taking pictures today. And we might have another one or two other uh, student photographers coming in, and when I see them, I'll announce them. Uh, Ken Snyder over here is going to be doing video, so we thank him for doing that. And here is the order. Not yet, representing Desert Ridge. Drowning in the Desert, Highland, Lebo Cat from Campo Verde, Warp Vinyl, Desert Ridge, The Claybots from Gilbert, Fallback from Highland, Stoneheart Cowboys from Basha, Kin from Desert Ridge, Logistical Nightmare representing Rock and Roll High School, Poison's Kiss representing School of Rock, Amarsha from Williamsfield, One Day at a Time from Campo Verde, and Zero Degrees North from Rock and Roll High School, then we'll announce the winners. Uh, we're going to announce three winners, first, second, third place. Those bands will get other gigs here in the next coming months, including the Spring Training Festival and a few others. Um, they'll get recorded at Green World Studios and a few other perks that we're working on. And with that, I think I'm ready to introduce the mayor. And as I do, I, I need to tell you the brief uh, history on this. Well, I can tell the history. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you the history. So, Mayor Lewis is a Giant fan. It's, it's unfortunate. It's one of his great faults. We all think he's done a really good job since he moved in here. But there's some strange voodoo going on because the Giants hadn't won the World Series for over 50 years when Mayor Lewis became mayor. And I believe it was, was it the first or the second year that they 
won the second year they won the World Series. Now they've won three times in the last five years. So if you've ever seen the movie Damn Yankees, obviously Mayor Lewis has uh, sold his soul to the devil so the, the Giants can win. Our town manager, Patrick Banger, who took over here, uh, what did you take over, four years ago or something like that? Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half years ago. He's from St. Louis, so he's a Cardinal fan. In this mix, I'm a Dodger fan, and they keep losing, so we're not going to talk about that right now. But uh, Mayor Lewis, Patrick Banger, had a little bet on the playoffs. We all know how that came out. So one of the elements of this was to raise money for the Gilbert Education Foundation. So taking pity on, on Patrick, uh, I told him that Rock and Roll High School would help him. So as a result of that, that's where Gilbert Schools Rock came up. And that has evolved into a much larger event than we had originally thought. And we're now talking about doing it annually and incorporating the junior highs into it. So look forward to all of that. And with that, I'm going to introduce the one, the only, on Mayor Come John on. Lewis. And I'll let him introduce the town manager, Patrick Bannon. Thank you. And to all of the groups that Steve just mentioned, our bands and our judges and Burgies and all the crews, uh, thank you. This is, uh, this is the town manager. And he did wear the San Francisco Giant jersey on the Gilbert Days Parade. And both of us do have a great appreciation for our Gilbert schools. Greatest asset in Gilbert would be our school's education. So all of the donations today are going to the districts that are in Gilbert, the schools, we thank you for that. Now to our town manager, I will say this, great appreciation, this is a man of integrity to come through on his bat. And he did wear the San Francisco Giant jersey on the parade day. And here he is making sure that he can make fulfill the bet. And then I, I think, to our town manager, Patrick, wouldn't you say that if you're the man of integrity, he's the answer to your prayer? And so for Steve Berg, let's give him a nice big round of applause for organizing. There's going to be great music. If for any reason at some point you need Patrick to sing his Missouri State Bear fight song. He'd probably be willing to do it, but we, we might have to all yell at the same no, no. time for, for Patrick. But on that note, to our town manager, Patrick Bantry, any rebuttals you needed to give before the band start? A couple. Okay. First, Steve, thank you, because my Cardinals did beat up his Dodgers twice to actually knock them. Their chances, the World Series dreams out. So, And he's still throwing this, this great event today, so thank you, Steve. To our mayor, I have a couple things. First, I've got something for him. They actually were uh, had these on clearance at Walmart. Apparently, no one wants these, but I saw this. I thought of you, Mayor. No one else wanted it. And I think you should have to put it on today. Yes! <laughs> Big round of applause for our town manager, the greatest gift I could ever ask for. <laughs> Like I said, no one wanted them. They were they were on clearance. I felt sorry. There was like 50 of them hanging on the rack. Um, so yes, my Cardinals have won, won, lost twice to the Giants, both games under a, a cloud of allegations of cheating and payoffs and everything else they do in San Francisco. But all that being said, there's always next year where I'm sure the Cardinals will, will triumph. I actually met a Cardinals fan here today, Mayor Beth, from she lived in Imperial, Missouri. She's a St. Louis Cardinals fan mayor. She will not be voting for you in your next election. <laughs> and we do have diversity in Gilbert. We have at least four St. Louis Cardinal fans out of the 240,000. At least four. And growing. And growing. Our, our new head of GPEC, Chris Camacho, is a St. Louis Cardinals fan. Yeah, so we're growing. So with that, I'll just say to everybody, sometimes the better team does not always win which will be the Cardinals, but to our mayor, next year will be our year, and we'll, we'll think of a new bat. And are we ready for music? We're ready for music. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 